What's up everyone, Maxi Muscle World, I'm here today to review the High Tech Spirit Trainers. This is a bit of a throwback for me actually, there's a lot of nostalgia in this trainer, purely because it is very, 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 very similar to the High Tech Silver Shadow, which is so I'm ex-military, that was the actual trainer we were issued back in the day. This is one of the cheapest trainers I could find that you could buy. I do actually really like the look of it. I paid £23, I think, for it. What I would call a budget trainer and also an entry level trainer for things like jogging and stuff like that. Uh, I really do actually like the retro vibe of it. Very kind of 80s, 90s style. Now, I'm not a fashion guru by any stretch of the imagination. Is does seem to be coming uh, back that uh, this kind of retro vibe. I do see a lot of people now looking like they're dressed as if they were straight out of a 90s rap video. I always like to start with a grip of the trainer purely because I got a bit of a fetish for grip. But there we go. Now, this is actually different to the Silver Shadow. Probably the only thing that is noticeably different, apart from it says Spirit on the side, was previously you would have said Silver Shadow. So we've got a very kind of, kind of aggressive tread pattern like that, goes straight down, like the kind of like quite sharp serrated edges. I really like that style. Very, very good for running forwards, a little bit of trail running perhaps, and also for pulling things and pushing things like sled push and stuff like that. So that's an ideal trainer for that. Gives you good kind of propulsion as you're moving forward. However, if you're doing things like side to side lateral movements, it's not so good for that. Uh, the back's got a little bit of kind of accommodation for that. And you have got these little slants here, which, which do actually help to be honest with you. It is quite, um, better than I thought it would be for that. So what works against it really in my mind is that it seems to come in here and it seems to be like a little bit almost top heavy. So doing kind of side step quick movements, it does feel like the, the, the sole is flat to the floor, but then like the top part uh, of the, the shoe, the train kind of moves to the side, which isn't really much. I mean, I probably notice that more because I'm like you know, nearly 100 kilograms, so there's a lot of kind of force movement at the side. It does have a kind of heel block here, which does provide a little bit of support, kind of a little heel support here, which is like, a, I think it's plastic, but very, very firm. And then kind of, uh, well, a different kind of material there. I'm not quite sure what material that is. I know this is suede, but that's a kind of strong, possibly even leather maybe, I'm not sure, but stitched in. So this is actually, quite, does provide quite a lot of support compared to many of the trainers that I've seen. Uh, however, it does actually contribute to it being quite a heavy trainer and the suede material, while looking quite good, in my opinion, it does add a lot of weight and lacks breathability that maybe newer trainers have. However, it is also incredibly durable. I've not really made any scuffs or anything. Usually I've ripped a pair of trainers or cut something by now or damaged it, but these are actually quite robust. Uh, I use them mainly for just doing jogging. Laces are very, very, very simple, but for that price, you know, I'm not looking for fancy anything, for fancy stuff, but it is actually quite refreshing. Just have a simple pair of box standard trainers, just put on, go out jogging. I also wear them out and about as well because I do actually think they look quite good. So what will probably happen with me, I will probably retire these soon from running and get an, um, I got another pair over there, which I, I will be reviewing as well. So then I'll be able to do a, a nice compare because this is the first kind of set running trains I've had in a while. Uh, anyway, there you go. High tech uh, spirit for an entry level budget trainer for 23 pounds. I do actually think it's a very good trainer. Obviously, if you're gonna be running competitively, running marathons, things like that, you might want a slightly, uh, slightly more expensive trainer maybe. It does give you that better kind of cushioning because this has got it, but it's, it's not as, say, advanced as the you know, modern technology uh, that you get these days on the modern trainers. Um, so doing shorter distances, shorter runs, maybe slower runs for a beginner, maybe doing a park run or, or just recreational jogging like I've been doing, I don't think I could, I could go wrong with this with this one. And I do think that we have quite a few kind of miles in it. It does seem to last some time. I haven't really made much um, damage to the tread. So all in all, I am actually impressed with this trainer and for the price, I think it looks good. And I think it performs as expected for a low budget trainer, whilst provided ample support. And not only that, when it rains, it doesn't, the water doesn't just seep through. So where I live, it's constantly raining, it constantly puddles everywhere. So you go out for a run, you run through a puddle. This one, obviously there's a limit, but minor splashes and showers and things like that don't actually seem to get through here. Whereas other trainers I've worn where they've had that very breathable kind of mesh type stuff on the front. It water goes straight through there and you went with wet feet within about 10 seconds of stepping out the door. So that is a plus in my opinion on this one. I would not recommend it for doing heavy weight training. Maybe a bit of circuit training might be okay. 
purely because it's not as stable as you would like for a, uh, a weight training shoe. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know if you've worn this one. Let me know, in fact, if you've ever worn a high-tech silver shadow. This is a throwback to the 90s, 80s and the 90s. And I really like it. Hopefully it'll stay that same price, £23. Although I did get a discount on that. I think it's about £25, £26 uh, at the moment currently in the stores. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon in the next video.